welcome back to my channel hope you guys are doing well so I've been out for a few weeks my family and I we were um, on our vacation our annual vacation and um, I'm here now at the actually I'm going to the National Stadium it's Guyana building Expo and today is the last day it's Sunday and yes I know I haven't been posting for a while but um, you know family time is important so I'm here now we're actually we just parked opposite uh, Amazonia mall it's uh, it's a parking lot I'll just show you what it looks like so everybody you could see they're parked up and they're heading to the expo as well so we are going across there and I'm gonna show you what's happening at the expo so we're walking out of the parking lot to get to the National Stadium it's not very far from here over there is Ramada Princess Hotel come kids come over there is Amazonia Mall and there's Massey stores and we just got a little piece here like a shortcut to get over yeah guys so I was saying I was out for a few weeks haven't been posting much but I'm back now back home back in Guyana you know Guyana is home no matter where you are and Oh, luckily for us, there's a little gate here, so... Can we pass? Oh, that's crazy! Yeah, so we can't walk, we gotta walk all the way around. Gosh! Sorry, yes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so we can go there. We gotta go all the way around, all the way around to the stadium, which is like a little, you know, we could have gone through the little shortcut. Anyhow, here we go. Exactly. Ridiculous. Yeah. So some people are upset too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we made it out of the parking lot. Come, let me hold your hand. Come on, walk in the corner, please. So we're out of the parking lot. Are we walking around? To get to the stadium and this is a uh, Massey Road and that is the East Bank we're gonna be walking there now so there's a pavement here leading to the National Stadium and apparently we have to get tickets to get in there yeah we gotta buy tickets yeah it started on the 24th of August and Luckily for me, I'm now catching it. We came in this morning and I said, hey, we got to come catch this expo this afternoon. So um, we waited for the sun to go down a bit and now we're heading there. So in the beginning, I said Guyana Building Expo. So I'm correcting myself. It's the International Building Expo. So this year exhibition will be held under the team Building for All. One Guyana, many opportunities. So you're probably wondering why we have this event this year, why it happened last year as well. It's there to provide a platform for small, medium and large businesses in the construction sector. And it's to exhibit their diverse range of products and services. So just to let you know, I got a lot more interviews last year than I did this year. Forgive me, I am jet lagged, but I wanted to come out and catch the expo before it was finished and it happened to be the last day. So, uh, and I think I was a bit late too, but yes, things were going on in there, but it's more of sceneries I'm going to be showing you. I did get one or two, but uh, I'm just going to walk around and let you see what was happening.
bus. So there's tickets sold here. So here is the entrance and it's the Golden Arrowhead Walk and it looks very beautiful and it represents our Golden Arrowhead flag, Guyana's flag. It has the five colors yeah, and it's a strip actually so this is the entrance. to walk down and it has the, the five colors, red, black, gold, white and green and it looks marvelous. I love how that entrance is. So here we are going down. We just passed uh, Central Housing. Ministry of Central Housing right uh, on the ha right hand side there and we're continuing down and like I mentioned before it's more of uh, sceneries I'll be showing you I did not do much interviews but I'm sure you'll like it so continue watching
Hi. Hi. And this is my sister. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so you want to tell me what's happening here? That's weird. You get right in there. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hi. Sister Marian. Oh, Hi. Nice to meet you. you. Put her on the spot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Our new project called Wings of Lagoon is set to um we're set to have homes available in 2024. Wow. So this is gonna be a 10 acre blue lagoon, which is gonna be man-made, one of a kind. Yeah. And we are set to have it twice as big as Vince Estate. Wow. Mm -hmm. It looks really impressive. Nice. So I can like sign up for one of these homes. How will you do this? So you just give us your contact information, name, your number, email, and we'll contact you. Uh -huh. Let you know and first come first serve pieces. Okay, and you have numbers we can get on? Of course. Yeah. So this is what the project is in. Yes. And this is our contact information. Alright, okay. So guys, if you want to contact them, just pause this, this video and you can reach them on those numbers. Also, please don't forget, yeah. um, Windsor Estate, even though it was developed in 2012, and all our, our single family homes and townhouses are sold out. We still have condominium units available. Okay. So you can contact same contact number and right. you'll be able to get in touch. Right. Take this down, guys. Yeah. Great. <laughs> all right. So I want to sign up for one. <laughs> Show them how, how, the, how the process goes. So, so you say, well, this, yeah, well, you know my name. <laughs> well, I would hope so. <laughs> right.
Absolutely. This yeah. is Remax Diana, right? If you're affiliated or if you have knowledge of Remax, the brand, uh -huh. you would know that we are globally known. Yes. We're 110 countries, as indicated. Oh, wow. 110 countries. Yeah. Worldwide. Right. Yeah. International. Nice. We're highly recognized in the real estate field. Okay. Actually, we are ranked number one. Okay. All right? Uh -huh. Don't take our word for it. Check the stats for yourself. However, yeah. we specialize in buying, selling, renting, everything in real estate. We're not a construction company. Right. So we do not offer building or construction of your home. Yeah. Everything else in real estate, if you would like to buy, sell, okay. rent, yeah. need tenants for your place, we're the people to call. Gotcha. All right? And how can we get on to Absolutely. If you have our cards, you can get onto our office or any of our agents will be more than happy to assist you. Okay. There's a few more details for you. All right. All right. Yeah. And let's see what's happening. You can here. call us to get all of oh, the details. Nice. Let me write my number there. You can yeah, get me directly. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and so there's a pamphlet here that gives you everything. Absolutely correct. And numbers, information. Can I take this right? Yeah, okay. I'll take this right. Dorado, if you ask okay. for me, you'll get directly to me and this is my WhatsApp. All right. You can contact Thank you. Directly, right? Thank you very much. All right. You got the key ring? Yes. <laughs> to share homes and buildings. Okay. Hello. Hello. You look very beautiful. Thank you. You want to tell me what's going on here? So fabulous home. Yes. If you guys notice her. Miss Fabulous here. That's it. The owner's right there. So here. Yes, the Yes, so we have great landings going on right now. You can have a 40 by 8 so lot for only 3.8. You put on 1.5 and you have 36 months or three years paid off interest free. Wow. So, yeah. But we know where this is where? This is Friendship South of East Bank. In Friendship? Yeah, Friendship. Okay. All right. And you have numbers and. Yeah, so this is a brochure. Okay. You can contact the show for more information. Yes. Yeah.
So here we're passing the arts and crafts section. There's also plants and so they're yeah. selling in there. Yes, yes. I'm not gonna go in there. I'm sure you know what arts and craft is. So I'm gonna continue down. There are a few houses that they have there and wow. they, uh, what they're providing. Uh, you can talk with them and so on. Um, I guess they're the low income homes. Um, but if you wanna go see what one looks like inside i'm not sure if i'm gonna get to see every one of them but i i'm gonna go see what they're offering and then we're gonna skip over to the entertainment section i call it entertainment because there's food and games and drinks and so on So sorry guys, I was going to go into that house, that big one that you're seeing there, but the line is too long for me to wait to get into the house and so was the other houses around there. I didn't get a chance to go into any of them.
so guys this is where i'm going to wrap up this video hope you're entertained i tried my best to cover most of the place i was trying to say most of the places there at the international building expo at providence at the national stadium yes in guyana it was the 2023 building expo i managed to catch it the last day the 27th of august um like i said i was out and i came back the same morning of that day and i said let me go catch it so i can show you guys hope you're entertained and i did not get a lot of interviews like i said i did not go around talking and so on but i wanted to show you what was happening there i'm sure you've seen a few videos already with what was going on for the first day second third so this is me showing you uh day four sunday and it was a lot of people it was uh when we were heading back home it was a long line to turn back on the east bank to get over to the the other side and we saw a really long uh, line the same line i was in to get in it was more packed with people so people were going in they were closing off at 11 i was told so yes it it was packed with people but it was fun and all and i hope you were entertained like i said don't forget to subscribe like and share and thank you so much for watching take care and i will see you in the next one